little chefs. Funny enough, enough people are watching and sharing my videos that I'm starting to get requests now. Which is great because I love it when you guys are coming to me and giving me ideas for stuff to do. Glenn, you asked me for a gluten-free, cassian-free recipe and I am here to deliver. For today, I am going to teach you how to make one of my absolute favorite recipes, ratatouille. And not just any ratatouille, ratatouille's ratatouille. And for those of you who don't know, this famous French dish got a complete makeover for the movie by celebrity chef Thomas Keller. And that's the one that we're going to make today. And you might be saying to yourself, but Morgan, I'm not a big fan of vegetables. Regardless of your stance on green food, I would highly encourage you to try this dish at least once. And because we're making a layered ratatouille, it is really important that you find vegetables that are around the same shape. We'll be slicing our vegetables incredibly thin and then layering them on top of a really beautiful bell pepper and tomato sauce. All right, little chefs, let's get to dicing. To begin, we need to prepare our bell peppers for our base sauce. Preheat your oven to 450 degrees, then take half a red bell pepper, half a yellow pepper, and half an orange pepper and remove the ribs as well as the seeds. Place them cut side down on a lined baking sheet and roast until their skins loosen and they begin to brown, which should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Let them rest until they're cool enough to handle, and then you should be able to peel off the skin relatively easily, and then just go ahead and chop them up. While the peppers are baking, take a large skillet and place it over low heat and add two tablespoons of olive oil. To that, add half of a sweet onion that's been finely diced and add a heavy pinch of salt before stirring it all together. We want to cook this down until the onions are translucent and soft, about six to eight minutes. Add to that one teaspoon of finely diced garlic and cook for another two minutes. Take one 28 ounce can of San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes, chop them roughly, and then add both the tomatoes and the juices to the onion mixture. To that, add an herb bundle made of two sprigs of thyme, a sprig of parsley, and a bay leaf. We want to cook this down until very little juice remains, about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the sauce has cooked down, go ahead and add the peppers and cook for a few more minutes in order to soften them. Go ahead and kill the heat and then remove the herb packet. Season with salt and pepper to taste. We also want to reserve one to two tablespoons of this mixture for our finishing sauce. A key kitchen device to making ratatouille is having a mandolin, and I'm going to teach you how to use one. First and foremost, get yourself a Kevlar glove like I am wearing here. You will thank me later. Set your mandolin to slice at 1 16th of an inch, and then go ahead and dice up one to two zucchinis. Then dice two to three yellow summer squashes. Now, I have never had too much luck getting eggplants to come out on a mandolin, so I just go ahead and take a really sharp knife and do it that way. Go ahead and dice up two to three Japanese eggplants, and then go ahead and do the exact same with four to five Roma tomatoes. Now it's time to start assembling our casserole. Go ahead and drop the oven temperature to 275 degrees. Spread the bell pepper and tomato mixture evenly across the bottom of a baking dish. Starting from the outer edge of the pan and working your way in, arrange alternating slices of zucchini, eggplant, yellow squash, and Roma tomatoes. Allow the slices to overlap so that about one fourth of an inch of each slice is exposed. Go ahead and repeat until the pan is filled. And now we season. Go ahead and take two tablespoons of a really high quality olive oil and drizzle that across the top. Sprinkle the remaining half teaspoon of the minced garlic over the top of the casserole. Season with salt and freshly ground cracked pepper, then go ahead and arrange a handful of sprigs of thyme across the top. Before putting the casserole in the oven, cover the vegetables in a layer of parchment paper before wrapping the entire thing in aluminum foil. Bake for two hours at 275 degrees, then remove the foil, increase the temperature to 350, and bake for another 30 minutes. Now in order to make our finishing sauce, go ahead and take some of the reserved tomato and pepper mixture and put it in a pot. Add to that one to two tablespoons of olive oil, and then this is the really important part. Use one to two teaspoons of a very high quality aged balsamic vinegar. Mix everything together and then using an immersion stick blender, go ahead and blend until smooth. Now it's time to get creative with some plating. Uh, take a large spoon or a cake spatula and remove one small row of ratatouille and then take another small row and lay it on top of that. Drizzle your finishing sauce along the outer edge of the plate and then put a little bit on top of the ratatouille. Finish by drizzling just a little bit more of your aged balsamic vinegar and top with a sprig of chive. I think Thomas Keller would approve of our home attempt, don't you think? But I think regardless of whether or not you're a fan of the movie, this dish is definitely a showstopper. And it's a fun way to get people to eat their veggies. Well, little chefs, 
I've got an entire casserole that I've got to devour. So I will see you kids later. Take care. But this famous French provincial dish, I can't say that. Wow, I can't stop eating it. I need to stop and finish recording. Entire, entire bottle of wine to finish. <laughs> I'm working on it. Very tasty indeed.